Hey guys, Simcolor here, and today uh, we are going to finish up our feed system by adding uh, the user's info to each and every single tweet. So we want to add a profile image and the username to the tweet. Also, we might add the date to the tweet, just so uh, that we get it as close as possible to the real uh, UI design of Twitter. So yeah, this should be a really quick one, so let's get on with it. Okay, so here we are, and for this part of the lesson, uh, it will be, as I've said, extremely fast, because the only thing that you have to do is to go onto the post list and uh, have a stream builder in here, which will make a query to get the user info for each and every single uh, tweet that we have. Now, again, because Firestore isn't the ideal database for this type of applications, uh, there are a number of ways in which you can um, accomplish this effect, None of them are, per are perfect. So I'm going to opt for the easiest and cleanest way of doing this, which is for each and every single post, we uh, return a stream builder, which will fetch the, uh, the data of that user. Now, because Firestore has some cache be built into the system, you, it, you won't be, um, each read won't count as a read for Firestore because uh, the, that information will be cached into your application. So uh, because of that reason, I believe this approach is the best approach that you can have for this type of problem using Firestore. So uh, when it comes to get getting the user info, and luckily enough, we already have uh, the get user info uh, function uh, written down in the stream user model get user info inside user.dart, which we did when we created the profile uh, for uh, the users. So we are going to use this function along with the list.art uh, in order to uh, display the information in this list, the information of the user. So let's get on with it. So the first thing that we are going to do is in the list post state, we, are, we have to have an instance of user service. So let's come in here and say user service user service equals to user service. All right, uh, so we'll be using this in order to uh, run the, the function, the get user info function, and then we'll have a stream builder in here. Uh, this could also be done with the future, but uh, because Firestore always prefers to, to work with streams because, well, it is basically a socket, um, a web socket, uh, then we, I'm going to use a stream builder for this, even though it is also possible to do with future. Okay, so let's do a return of the stream and not like that. So return stream builder. And in this case, uh, the builder will be basically everything that we already did with something uh, more on top of it. So for now, let's keep it simple. We'll first start up the function, uh, which in this case will be uh, parentheses, build context, context, then uh, we'll have uh, the async snapshot, snapshots of the type user model. And uh, we pass along a snapshot, which will be the variable which we'll use uh, for this uh, purpose. Okay, so uh, then we'll open up curly brackets and close up uh, with a semicolon at the end to close up this function, and there we go. Uh, then we'll probably need to import the user model, but as it is underlined with uh, another problem, which is it is expecting a return, but we aren't returning anything at the moment, I'm going to come up top because I can do the quick fix uh, at the moment and simply import a model's uh, user, uh, the user model, better yet. Okay, so now uh, whenever we use a stream builder like this, uh, we have the builder which will return the widget, uh, which is the widget that we want to show. However, we can do some cool stuff before. Bef uh, for example, if we want to show um, a circular progress indicator whenever the, the, the data hasn't been fetched yet, we are able to do this by saying if not snapshot dot has data, uh, which means that nothing has been returned yet, then we can simply return I'm going to say center child's circular progress indicator. Parenthesis, 
There we go. And this way, if nothing has been loaded, then simply show the indicator showing that it is loading at the moment. And right now it isn't loading because we haven't told the stream builder which, is, which stream must we use in this case. So let's add it right now. In this case, we'll say stream and underscore user service dot get user info and in this case uh, which user info must we pass along well for uh, we are able to get the user info or which user must we uh, get info of by using the posts so in this case i'm going to grab the final post move it up top and i'm going to say get user info post dot creator and there we go uh, however, uh, an error returns because when it gets the data, we aren't returning any widget, which um, it is expecting, obviously. So I'm going to grab this list title, move it inside here after the if, and everything returns to normal. But uh, we aren't seeing any changes because we aren't displaying the information that we get from this stream. Okay, so that's the next part that, that we'll work on. Okay, so in this in this case we have the list style and we have a title and a subtitle. So we'll be using the title to display the user's information and the subtitle to display the, the tweet's information. So uh, the text and uh, the date. Okay, so for now I'm going to remove this text because we are not going to use it anymore. We aren't going to display the UID, we are going to display relevant information. We'll first add a padding. Just make sure nothing touches the, ed the edges. And we are going to say edge insets dot from uh, left, um, top, right, bottom. This is what that means. And as you can see, we get uh, four uh, different paddings that we can change. And in this case, I'll say that um, the left will be zero, the top will be 15, the right will be uh, zero, and the bottom will be 15. This is just to give some uh, vertical padding between um, the, the titles. Okay, so then let's go down below and keep on uh, writing some code. In this case, we'll add a child, which will be uh, a row widget. And a, a row widget because we'll have the circle avatar and then next to it, we'll have the name. So in this case, we'll say, children, give it some space, let's uh, save that. Uh, and now uh, we'll uh, use uh, the snapshot in order to get the information. So snapshot data dot profile image URL, different from uh, empty. Then, and we use the interrogation point for that, we say that the circle avatar will appear. And the circle avatar will appear with the radius of 20, this is the same as we did in the earlier uh, lessons. And the background image will be a network image. And we pass along the snapshots, data, profile, image, URL. So paste that in, in, in there, and there we go. Now, uh, if uh, the snapshot data profile image URL is equal to empty, then we'll have to do something else, which is to display the icon. So let's add the two points in there and let me check. And it isn't in that uh, parenthesis that we have to do this. It is in outside it in here. There we go. Then we'll say icon, icons.person. And then we set the size of this icon that we want to display. In this case, it will be 30. And let's see how it looks. And there we go. Now it is starting to look somewhat like we want it to, and we are able to scroll, we are able to do anything, everything. However, we also want to display the name. And to display the name, as it will be as easy as having a text, snapshots.data.name. All right, uh, but as you can see, it is really close to the image. So let's add a size box, which will give some padding and some distance between the text the text and the, the, the image of the, the user, whether it be the icon or uh, the circle avatar. So we'll say width equal to 10. Add the comma after that, and there we go. So uh, now, as you can see, there, 
this isn't uh, quite aligned, so I'm going to actually make the icon a bit bigger. Let's see if that helps out. And there you go. Now it seems like the SOM and SimCoder are uh, uh, better aligned. So I'm going to go with this and leave it at that. Now, uh, the only thing that I want to also change is that I want to add uh, the date of the post in the tweets and add a divider, which is a line which divides, as the name implies, uh, each list item. So this is quite easy to do, and we are going to do this instead of the in the title, we are going to do this, do this in the subtitle. Now, I'm going to remove the post text, and I'm going to say that we have a column in uh, the subtitle. So now we'll align everything to the start, so to make sure that every single text and the, the time is uh, as close to the left as possible. And we say cross axis alignment dot start. And this will push everything to the left. Then we'll have the children of the column, which will have a padding. And the padding will be edge inset dot from left uh, top, right, bottom, and in this case it will be exactly the same as we did uh, above. So 0, 15, 0, 15. I believe that will look uh, good, so let's go with it. Then this padding will have the child, which will be of the type, which will be a column once again, and you'll see why we need to do this column padding column uh, in a second and this is because I can uh, just to tell you that we want to have a divider uh, inside of this column and not this one because in this one we want to have some padding and that's the reason why we are going to do this. So in here we'll have a text and I forgot the children so let's write children before that. So text and post dot text there we go let's save it and see if it looks good okay looking good uh, now what we are what we have left to do is to add the time of the the post uh, the creation date better yet so we'll first add a size box just give some padding and in this case it won't be width it will be height as they are stacked above each other let's remove that comma and then we'll have text parentheses uh, post dot timestamp dot to date and this will convert everything into a readable date because timestamp comes in a long integer so we must convert this into a readable date and how you do this is by saying to date and to string and by doing this it will be a readable date as you see in here and uh, before carrying on I'm going to add uh, yet again the cross uh, align uh, axis alignment so that uh, we can make sure everything is pushed to the left okay so there we go now we are seeing the date the text and the information of the user so now all that's left and this is the final part of this lesson is to add a divider so let's add that add the comma and this will be in here, no, in here, in here, in these parts. There we go. Make sure it is inside this array, the children array. And when you add it, you see that a line appears. It is really sub subtle, but uh, Twitter uses it and a bunch of other applications also use it as it looks good. Okay, so now if we jump into our profile, we don't see anything because I don't have any posts. Uh, however, if we go into SimCoder, for example, we see that everything is working as it should be and it isn't only for the feed that it is working, so it is um, generalized for the entire application as it should be. Okay, so uh, everything is working as it should, uh, so yeah. So that's all, thank you all so much for watching. If you like this video, then please do leave a like, subscribe and hit the notification bell. I hope to see you again tomorrow. Ciao!